Leveling up your cars in Forza Motorsport can be very tedious. Here today I'll be showing the best methods and tricks to level up your cars as fast as possible. While there are no glitches, there are some tricks and I've done a lot of testing to narrow down the fastest ways that I've found. Before we get started, however, I'm giving away some premium edition codes for Forza Motorsport. If you want a chance to win, make sure you're subscribed to the channel already and comment your gamer tag. I'll pick a good few people, announce the winners in a future video and send you a code for the game. So you can level up your car in Motorsport by doing pretty much anything, free play, multiplayer, campaign, anything at all. However, some are much better than others. In races, you'll get XP for sector scores and overtaking. In free play, you'll get XP for sector scores and sector times, because as in free play, they have the sector sort of checkpoints that time you through sectors, which gives you a little bit of a bonus point of XP. So my suggestion is that if you're wanting to grind for levels, stick to free play. Whenever you have time, grind out some laps on free play on your own, enjoy the car with no driver tar AIs, learn how to drive it well and while you're doing so you'll be leveling it up but this is where some of the tricks come into play to really refine how quick you level up in free play. While I don't fully condone this it is a feature so if you really want to do it it's there to be done. Go to your assists and this is where you'll find a lot of assist options where you could essentially make the car drive itself. All the way to the right is the heavily assisted option and if you turn steering and throttle all the way to fully assisted you will pretty much have a self-driving car you won't need to touch the controller or do anything it will do an endless amount of laps on its own getting your car xp as it's doing it i do recommend sticking with your controller if you're doing this don't just afk it keep using the throttle keep using the steering you, you know sort of add your help along with the assists and you'll be driving even quicker but if you really wanted to it is certainly driving itself so if you really want to that is a way to grind some levels there are even more tricks to take into consideration though I did some testing to find out which tracks provide the most XP in sort of the quickest time um, which ones will get you to level 50 the, level 50 the quickest which is all that matters really and I found some interesting results I tested three different cars across three different tracks I tested them with full assists auto driving essentially and then I tested them driving myself with no assists. Here are the results. The times that you are seeing on screen right now is how long it took to get one car level, just one car level. Now remember, it is just the same amount of XP for every car level. So from level one to two, it's the same amount of XP as from level 49 to 50. So the times you see on screen is how long it takes to get one level. And as you can see, they are all extremely similar. You've got Spa, which is a really long lap, especially in the Golf. You might take up to three minutes per lap. And then you've got the Indy Oval, which is a really short lap, especially in the Jesco, which is really quick. But you'll see the times are very similar. It takes the same amount of time to get one level. Doesn't matter what car you're in, doesn't matter what track you're on, doesn't matter how long the lap is, how quick the lap is, how quick the car is, how fast the car is, it doesn't matter. It will still take the same amount of time to get one car level. That's if you're driving on track at least and doing the sectors properly. Now this, it does seem like Turn 10 have obviously tried to balance it out here and not have any cars that have an advantage in levelling up or any tracks that have an advantage in levelling up. Now there are still some advantages, which we'll talk about in a second, to really refine where that XP is gotten. But overall it seems pretty balanced at 2 to 3 minutes per level. What you might notice though is that there is a difference compared to how long it takes to level up with the full driving assists on and driving yourself. I was averaging about a 10 to 20% quicker level by actually driving myself with assists off compared to assists on. Now this makes sense because I would be driving better than the auto driving. You know, I'm hitting the braking zones a bit better. That's to be expected. It's not hard to race quicker than the fully assists kind of drive. So while having the car drive itself does work and it does level you up, it's not quite as quick as if you were to do it yourself. There's sort of a 10 to 20% difference, as you can see in the times. So if you're trying to level up any car, I would experiment with a few different tracks as it does vary. You can see it actually took a whole extra minute for the Koenigsegg Jesco to level up on Grand Oak compared to Spa. Now Grand Oak is a shorter track that's easier 
Spar is longer and harder, actually leveled up quicker at Spar. So these tracks take into consideration. And you might think that the Indianapolis oval track would be a quick and easy lap. You might level up quicker. Kind of like how on the old Forza Motorsport games, you used to just do 50 laps on the oval to level up quick. It doesn't really work like that. It was actually the opposite. It was slower for me to level up on Indianapolis oval than it was on Spa with that auto driving or without auto driving. So it's all about your preference. If you want easy laps, go to the oval, but you won't level up as quick if you were doing Spa. Remember, this doesn't apply to every car though. You can see that the Golf was actually quicker to level up in the oval, whereas the Jesco wasn't. I mean, there wasn't much difference between the oval and Spa for the Golf, but it's very car specific as you can see. I would recommend sitting somewhere in the middle don't have self-driving assists all on. Steer yourself, brake yourself, have a few assists off at least. Come on, drive the game, play the game. Just make it a little bit easier for you to drive yourself. Experiment a bit. If you're in a slow car, maybe try the oval track, maybe try Spa. If you're in a fast car, try the complicated tracks because they will get you more XP. And from what I can see, the car XP notifications in the top right hand corner, so like 56p, 26p, I don't think that's very relevant. For some reason, 50 car XP in one car will give you more of your XP bar than in a different car. It, it, I, I don't think it's as exact as it might seem. Comparing doing this to just doing races, let's have a look. Well, a couple of minutes on driving of free play produces almost a full level, as you can see. But if you're doing a race, um, even if you're overtaking 22 cars in one lap, getting all that car XP, it still doesn't match the same amount of XP you'd get in free play, despite getting that extra boost. So from my experience, I'm, I'm hoping this doesn't change with updates or bug fixes or patches, but from my experience, getting car XP in races is nowhere near as much as free play. Another thing to note, if you are grinding levels in free play with your car driving itself or you driving it, I would suggest stopping every five levels or so, every 20 minutes, and applying the newly upgraded, the new the newly obtained upgrades that you've unlocked, because it might seem like a long way to get to level 50, but you're forgetting that every one or two levels you will unlock a new upgrade. So as you're making your way up to level 50, your car will gradually be getting better and better each upgrade you give it. And as shown by the graph, uh, a faster car doesn't mean that you'll level faster, but it might mean you get to try out a different track and level up quicker at a different track, if that makes sense. Taking all of this into account, if you fine tune your car, get the right track, get the assists right, if you're leveling up, let's say once every two minutes and 40 seconds, that's a fairly good average to have, you could get from a level one to level 50 in roughly two hours. Maybe a tiny bit more, maybe a tiny bit less. If you really wanna just leave the car driving itself for an hour, that'll get you halfway there. Yeah, there's no glitches in this video. I'm sorry if you were hoping for that, but in my opinion, from my experience, this is how you can level up as quick as possible. Go ahead and do it. Feel free in the comment sections below to work together in finding what cars level up on what tracks the quickest. Any tricks, any good combinations you find, pop them in the comment section below. If you like, if you enjoyed, everyone, I'll see you all later.